wanted to show you guys um, this website. I know that for those of you that are have been to the Fast 45 lunches, uh, we're going to be entering into our third year if the chamber lets me. What next next year? So, um, but uh, I got all of the training that we've done so far here at SherryAnnWilson.com, and if you click the Facebook training link up there at the top, uh, the, these are the first two that we did. And, uh, and then this one I did uh, for the analytics that you need to keep an eye on in Facebook uh, for a, a Facebook training. So you can you know watch that one. The worksheets from the first two are also here. And then remember how I talked to you about creating a quiz, one of the best ways to build your email list last month. Uh, I literally walk you through the steps on this one and how easy it like my process from researching a subject to actually creating the questions and then using the software uh, to do it so it's not hard um, at all I know people might think it is but it's pretty straightforward okay now for those of you that have your computer uh, you probably want to go to uh, a couple places to get ready the first one is canva.com uh, this is my go-to for graphics and I've got all of this, I believe, in your um, your worksheets. But I would go ahead and write down Canva.com in case I missed it. Okay, good. And then the other one that I use to make videos is Rapper, W-R-A-P-R.com. And I'm going to show you that one in the next two classes. And then also Camtasia. But let's get into our slideshow first, and then we'll start playing. And by the way, Canva does have an app. So if you want to use that to create your pictures and stuff, you can go ahead and get it downloaded. Does anybody need the password for um, their phones or anything up here? You good? Okay. And I will be putting this uh, training today on the uh, Facebook training page as well. So for those of you that have been coming, today is the day that you're going to use the pictures and the videos you've been capturing since we started this series. So you'll definitely want to have those up. If you don't have any, that's fine. You can play with any picture in there and then you just don't have to post it. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is graphics creation. Now, my favorite places to get free what's called stock photos are right here. So, pickjumbo.com, uh, pixabay.com, unsplash.com, and then stocksnap.io. Those are on the very front page of your worksheet, and I have them in order of preference. I absolutely love Unsplash, but if you need like a, a graphic or an illustration, Pick Jumbo and Pixabay are really good ones. Okay, so even though what we're going to do today you can use to create graphics for your Facebook page, you do need to keep this fact in mind for the actual ad. And that is Facebook only allows 20% of the photo for the ad to be text. So when we create your image today, I want to create as if you're creating an ad uh, because we're going to test it at a link that I put in here for you as well. So I don't know why they only allow 20% to be honest, but that's their rule. And then you can test your image, which we will. It's at facebook.com forward slash ads underscore tools, which I believe I have that in here. Oh, front page? Okay, good. See, I'm just like, I forget, you know. Yeah. So, um, that's where I test all my images. Now, I prefer video for my ads, and uh, we're going to add the closed captioning to your videos today, and sometimes because of the closed captioning, you have to get it approved or appeal it whenever it's you know, not allowed because they're like, it's too much text. And so I always tell them it's a video with closed captioning and then they approve it. So um, it can be a little tough sometimes getting things done there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Canva and you can sign up for free. Uh, there's no charge at all. Now, if you want, uh, you know, 
a little more flexibility or if you want some of their designs and things like that, you can pay. I've never paid and I can make amazing graphics. Uh, they just added this one right here, the animated social media which is awesome because people love movement. Uh, like we learned last uh, month, 80% uh, of people are watching video on Facebook even more than YouTube now. So it's, it's really going that direction. So any animation or video that you can do, I highly recommend. But whenever you log in, you can go over here to create a design and you can put your specifications in, but I recommend just going with their, their pre-made dimensions. So I'm going to type in Facebook ad. And then it automatically brings up for me the canvas. Uh, I do like most of my stuff to be square because I will use that content over on Instagram because I'm more active there. Uh, I also, with my ads, I like it square because of mobile. So, you know, a square video is easier to see than one that's oblong because everything's smaller. So that's just my preference. If that's the case, let me show you what you would pick. You would pick Instagram post. Okay, so you can do either Facebook ad or Instagram post, both for your Facebook page and your ads. Okay. So whenever we click uh, Facebook ad, it brings you to all the templates. And you can scroll through here. They have lots of great templates. And you can pick maybe something that you like how it looks and then add your own stuff. And then you'll also notice that there are some where you would have to pay uh, for the picture. So let me see if this is, yeah, this is one. So see their watermark right here? Mm -hmm. That means that if you want that image, you have to pay for it, but you can actually take that image out and put your own in. In fact, I did that with this one, okay? And I changed the colors and everything. So it just kind of gives you, you know, a little bit of a layout to get you started if thinking creatively and, and putting things together is hard for you. Uh, you know, something like this, it can be very good for a Facebook ad. Now, one of the things that I always recommend is that you put your face on there because people like you more the more they see your face. Uh, but you don't have to. And if you sell products, it can be good to put those products on there. Another thing that does good with Facebook ads are any of them that are uh, like this, where there's no picture uh, and there's a, a nice graphic and real bright colors. You need something that will cause a stop the scroll, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, but anyway, so you can completely, you know, scroll through these, pick something you like. This would be another good one that would probably stop people. Uh, this one as well. Okay, so then they also have lots of photos you can use. I rarely use photos because, like I said, I go to Unsplash to grab mine. Um, but uh, I have a client that they have a, the American flag in a lot of their advertising. So I'll just, you know, go and drop it over here and then, you know, do all my other stuff. Let me undo that because I don't want, want that there. Um, so you can scroll through and see plenty of photos that you might want to use. By the way, puppies and babies do so good. Like if anyone has a food place, this would totally be the, yeah. He's a little mangy though, so maybe if you could find something just as cute. Uh, and then you have elements. I use these all of the time. So you've got some icons. I'm a little careful with stuff that's cartoonish only because I don't want my business stuff to look cartoonish. I'm, you know, uh, I want it to look more professional. But if you, you know, have a really fun brand or business, definitely go for it. And then they have what's called grids. And these are different ways that you can put a picture or two in your ad. So I had one where Actually, let me get rid of all of this. I'm going to change the background to white. 
get rid of, get rid of. Okay, now I'm gonna click on this. I just clicked once, it puts it up on the screen. Then I go down to uploads, and this is where you can upload all of your photos and they stay in there forever. So when you click upload image, and usually all of my stuff goes into downloads, you can select the pictures that you picked off of Unsplash or something of that nature. But I'm going to scroll down and um, let's see here. I'm going to grab this picture and you just drag and drop. Okay. And then I might pick, oops, pick this one, drag and drop. And then I'll grab this one and drag and drop. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> is there a way, like, say the bottom left picture, how, you know, it was bigger than that space? Mm -hmm. Is there a way to kind of move it? Forward? It depends. And we're going to look at that as the next thing. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so when you click on the picture, if you click on crop, it'll let you know if you've got any room. Um, you can drag it out to where it just shows, you know, part of the pieces and move things around or go over here to show more of the computer. But if it's not big enough, no. Uh, oops, go back to crop. And then um, when you're picking the pictures for these slots, I would definitely recommend having pictures there that will look nice in it. You know what I mean? So this is just one example of a grid, but I use this for one of my clients, American Heritage, and see how that picture fits perfect. So I would probably actually not have any pictures down here and have some solid space. So uh, keep that in mind with your pictures. Um, we'll crop this and I'll just drag it down to where you see more of the cow's face. Okay, so that's cropping. Uh, you can flip things. Like let's say um, I want to flip this image. I'll just hit flip and then it just switches it for me. They also have filters. Uh, I don't like their filters. So usually what I do is I will uh, use Visco on my phone and put filters on there. They do have adjust and adjust is good because you can go into the brightness. So like this picture to me appears darker. I'll probably want it more along the lines of this one. So I would click it and just start messing with the brightness enough to where it's not washed out, but it's a little bit closer and then add some contrast. So really you can just play around as much as you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that picture and I'm going to show you a trick. So you can use the grid and you can use the pictures, but a lot of times I may just want the pictures down here and I don't want a picture up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Elements, and then I have to close the grids. So let me show you what happens. So when you close it, you get all of your icons and shapes. But once you click on All, they, they disappear. Okay, so just know that if you're like, okay, where did the, you know, grids go? You need to close what you just opened in order to see everything. So I'm going to grab this square. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to drag it to my lines to the bottom of the grid here and over. And I like the like bright colors, so I'm going to click this color box. I'm going to go here and then in the plus, this is where you can mess with your colors. You can go to any color you want. You can go to more yellow. You can go over to green. So all this really cool stuff is in there. And I'm going to try to match the color close to the coffee cup. And then what it will do, and this is how I've discovered all my what's called hex values, because when you build a website, you need that hex value so that your colors are all branded. Now that may be a little more than what we're wanting to get into today, but I just wanted to show you that for those of you that you might be like, oh, that's very useful. Um, I think I'm going to go with blue though. Okay, so you'll notice I've still got my white behind the pictures and the blue. Now I'm going to add some text. So you can do heading, subheading, a little bit of text. They also have all of these uh, pre-made 
you know, groupings. Uh, I'm usually wanting to do my own thing, but if you click something like this, oops, and then we drag it up here. Oh, I must have clicked it twice. Let me show you what you can do. Okay, see that they've basically grouped two bits of text together. So you can select both or click ungroup and then delete one, you know, move it, whatever you want to do. Uh, to, to get it grouped again, you would uh, click on both of them holding control down on your keyboard and then click group. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you can change the the text up here where you've got playlist script. Um, one of my favorites is, uh, and they've got a lot of uh, fonts now, is I love, I don't know how you say it, Bebus maybe? And then you just click in the square and we're going to type. Okay. So notice how it's too big now. So I've got a couple options. I can pull these edges all the way over and have it look like that, which that's fine. But I'm not going to do that. I'm probably going to have this go down, bring it in a little bit, and I'm going to see if I can get it all in that blue. And then, you see those purple lines? I love this because it tells me it's perfectly centered and if you are an OCD like I can tend to be, that is very nice. Um, and then I might be like, you know, I really don't know if I like that. So again, you can you know, stretch it out, things like that. So I'm probably going to get rid of this and just put Facebook training. All right, well, what about it being over here? Well, if you use, you know, any type of word processor, you know to look for all of this. But the other thing is you can change the size one of two ways. If you want to change the size of the text, you want to highlight it and then go in here and do whichever you know size you want. Um, if you want to change it with this, see what it does? You can just drag it. So really just however you want to do it, um, whatever is most comfortable for you, and then we'll put um, a awesome Chamber of Commerce event sponsored by U.S. Bank. Okay. So then um, I do like where sometimes I have things over here and I would just move it over and have empty space. So you're just moving things over. You're playing around. You want it pleasing to the eye. Um, but I don't like this font at all. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that. And let me just, as a design tip, notice how some of the fonts are more curved than others. And then some are more like that old-fashioned typewriter. Um, serif. And the ones that are curved are called sans serif type of fonts. They do well together. So you want one that has the curved, and then you want another one that does have that old-fashioned look. And then I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, so I've got it designed. Um, I might change the color of the font uh, to white. You can keep some of it, you know, black or go to a gray or a white but whenever you start going with those lighter colors you got to remember people are scrolling on their phone and if it's hard for you to see if you have any like man that's hard to see you need to go back to a darker color okay because people have less attention span than a goldfish um, and we want to make sure that they can you know read your stuff right off the bat Okay, so what we're going to do is now download it. I'm going to move this up a little bit. So what you do is you go over to download and then download. And then we're going to go over to that handy dandy Facebook um, tester and see if I could do this ad. Okay. So facebook.com forward slash ads tools, text, overlay. <coughs> okay, 
So now um, we're going to upload the image right here. So I'll click upload and grab it. And then it should, okay, says it's okay. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, it does tell me a, a couple, you know, things over here on the side, like, you know, obviously the check mark is okay. Um, it'll tell you, you know, if your text image is just a, a hair over what they want, you'll probably get your ad pushed out pretty good. But if you get into that medium or high, it may not run at all. And what they'll do is, like, let's say that it's low. They'll run it, but they won't present it to as many people. So that's where, you know, you want to make sure that you are not having too much text because I have been there and done that and wasted 70 bucks. Because I was like, oh, I'll run it anyway. That didn't work out for me. Um, so as you can see, I've got all kinds of stuff. I'm, I'm going to do a video on how to create a freemium because we talked about that last uh, time as well. And um, I'll get that video up on the page. I just created this one for the banners for my Facebook page. By the way, you want to change those out if you think about it every two weeks. And then, um, let's see. Huh? Thanks. I made this for my house because we moved into a new house. Can't put toilet paper down our toilets anymore. So I just made me a little graphic here so you don't have to use it for Facebook ads. Please do not flush, flush toilet paper management. Um, I'm not bitter at all. Uh, another thing that I do with people is uh, if you have a business, you need to highlight your staff. I cannot tell you how important this is. Highlight your staff. Highlight your volunteers. Get yourself on there. And this is a teller at American Heritage. And so we just highlight. People love it. They just absolutely love to feel special. And, uh, and then this is the example of the one I was telling you about where I had the, um, you know, color up here and then the pictures up here. So any questions on this, I just want to kind of give you a cursory overview so that you can then um, start playing around. This is another grid right here that um, I've got several pictures. And then my, I, I did this for a Facebook post on my page, okay? All right, so play around with that. <laughs> Excuse me? Can you granulate the backgrounds and do transparency, transpose? Yeah. Um, so let's get in here. So you can upload any, um, if you go to uploads, any background you want and put it on there. Uh, and then you also have an option of backgrounds here. So let's say that I wanted this as a background. And then you can go to opacity and just really, you know, mess with that. And then there is an alpha. Are you talking about making it alpha where there's no color at all? Yeah. yeah they have that option. Um, I usually use a different uh, program to do that. So I'm not sure how to do that, but I can figure it out. Yeah, it's where, you know, you. Like if you want, um, <clears throat> well, just when I've done like for some logos and stuff, like when you when you go to download, it'll be a little box that has like. For Is that where it's at? But it's a paid feature, so. Okay. To... Yeah, I saw it the other day, and uh, and I don't even know how much it costs actually to do all of that stuff. Um, I think monthly it's like twelve ninety nine. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so I love Canva. That's really all I use now for uh, any of my graphics. So just remember the 20% rule. Again, highlight your products, highlight your face, whatever you think, uh, you know, if bright colors if you're going to use um, uh, just, you know, plain graphics. Get that animation in there too. Okay, so uh, I wanted to just, you know, for those of you that maybe you want to create a freemium, uh, I probably will not demonstrate it to, well, no, it won't take me long. Okay, so this right here, um, this graphic, I use a program called BoxShot. So if you go over, and I'm going to go ahead and start that. If you go over to my website, you'll see I use these everywhere. So any freemium, I typically have this. So I'm going to go to uh, resources, 
and I created this, okay, um, in the slideshow where I showed these. I created those. They just look very professional, and they're great for your freemiums. So it's called Box Shot. All you do is you open up new project, and you go down to whatever, um, you know, shape you want to use. I'm use, using the device monitor or, or an iPad. By the way, if you have anything where you need electronics, um, people have found that people will respond to your material if you use Apple products. And I think it's because Windows has so many glitches, it's annoying, but that's just my opinion. Okay, um, I'm not an Apple person at all. I mean, you know. I'm sure you're not. <laughs> so, um, so I left some graphics for you. So I'm going to grab this monitor. I'm going to make it smaller. And then I've got a screenshot I took of Camtasia. I just drag and drop it right on top, and there it is. Then you go up to render. It renders it for you, and you can crop it, and that's it. I mean, it is so simple um, to do, you know, that stuff and then you just save it and you're good to go. So again if you have any type of graphics and freemiums where you want people to see what it's going to look like then you definitely want to use that. Um, I think box shot was maybe like $99. Uh, you can get the, oh I put the price up there, you can get the one for $219 but I'm cheap so I got the $99 one and it was worth it. Sure. Uh -huh. Question? Yeah. Are, are any of these, are they compatible with like if you're Building or working with the website on GoDaddy, that some of these programs and the way that you can do photographs work on Facebook and work on your website. Oh yeah, all my um, graphics are from Canva, or I've created them using Boxshot, or um, even the ones that are like screenshots or of me. All of them I've created first, and then I upload them to my website server because I use Squarespace. Okay. Yeah, so you can add them all. Mm-hmm. Okay, so video creation. We've got a little bit of time to get started, so I'm going to show you Wrapper, and then I'll let you know the differences. Wrapper is $49 a, uh, for a lifetime purchase. Did You went ahead and went with uh, Camtasia, right, instead of Wrapper, Alyssa? Okay, so Wrapper's really good, uh, but Camtasia, to me, is the one. Uh, if there's anything you get and you're going to have video, you need Camtasia. Uh, and the reason why is doing the closed captioning is number one crucial for Facebook ads or any videos that you put on the social media websites but also it it's just so easy to type your captions and that's what I was looking for because I'm when I first started working with computers guys it was MS DOS does anybody remember those days okay I hate typing stuff like that and so then when we go uh, YouTube you could put your closed captioning in there but you either had to upload a text file or type it yourself and I hate that well with this you have to type it yourself but they make it so easy wrapper is not easy so other than that it's a good program but Camtasia is the best when it comes to um, your closed captioning now um, I created this image uh, using the box shot like I showed you, but you need Jiffy's, G-I-P-H-Y.com. If any of you have um, watched Alyssa's videos, she has been a rock star with her videos. She gets so many views. Um, she's probably totally embarrassed I'm pointing her out, but Jiffy's add that sense of humor to your videos. And uh, even, you know, I mean, we can all, I think, admit that title insurance and stuff is boring, right? And, uh, <laughs> and I also use it with General Insurance Agency, and insurance is boring as well. But it's like you're watching this video, you've got the closed captioning, you don't even have to turn up the sound, you're just reading what she's saying, and then you get this surprise, here's this fun jiffy. And it just breaks it up, it gives people a laugh, they like you because they laugh, and then they're like, well, I don't even you know, need title insurance, but I'm going to watch her videos. You know, so that's how it works. So the jiffy.com, um, I highly recommend. So let me show you my process, and then if you have any questions, we'll end with that, and then we'll do Camtasia at the end of, uh, it is September, right? Yeah, yeah, in a week and a half. Okay, 
So once you get um, wrapper purchased, when you go to wrapper.com, you have to do user login. And then you're still not where you can do anything. So then you click launch the software and I've got all of this in your notes. Okay, so the way it works is notice how the video is oblong. Now when you render them, uh, they show up a little bit oblong and I don't like that for one reason. Uh, Instagram is square. So most of my videos are on Instagram and so it's a little bit aggravating but you could probably have it where it looks square and just have some space around it but that's just one of the pitfalls I don't like. But I like um, some of the features. Okay. So the first thing you do is, do you want background? And they have entire packages where you can have backgrounds. Um, I think I do have the package purchased. So, I mean, you could pick, you know, the sky, Las Vegas, office backgrounds, just graphic backgrounds, whatever you want. Um, I don't like my stuff busy though. So it is rare I'm gonna pick a background. I'm usually just gonna go to plain old boring color background. And I'm going to use my three business colors of yellow, teal, black, and then I may even go with white. Uh, so we'll just stick with white. And then we'll click Next. And then you're going to drag and drop your file here. Now, this is another pitfall of Wrapper, and that's that it doesn't take movie. Um, it only takes MP4. So you may want to write that down. And uh, I just learned that when I got in here to get ready. So I had to convert a video I took the other day at one of my clients to MP4. Um, so what you do is you grab your video wherever it is and you drag it on top of that little square right here and then you click upload. And once you upload the videos, they'll be over here in the My Videos up at the top right from now on. So you can reuse them if you need to. And the thing that's neat about this too is not everything is stored on your computer. So that's nice. Okay, and then it shows up down here. So then you click Add. Okay, so this shows me where it's going to be. Again, I'm, I'm all about the squares. So, uh, you know... Oh, box shot is yelling at me. Hang on one second. Um, I don't want to save. Quit. Okay. All right. So what I would do is probably grab the corners and make it a little bit smaller. Actually, what I would do is I would have an oblong for wrapper. Um, I wouldn't have a, a square. And then you're going to click Next. And then you can put a, a, a footer up here or something like that. I don't do that. I go straight to text. Okay. So what we're going to do is put watermelons. Now notice you can't see it over here. It only shows up in the preview. <coughs> and so this is where, okay, now I need to pick my you know, my different fonts. So normally when I use wrapper, I'm doing my hilarious Academy Award winning funny Instagram videos for introverts. Yes. So if you have not followed me on uh, Instagram, you need to. Uh, I usually do them here and I'll get like a fun text. Um, so, you know, something like that. But they have, you know, the plain old adult, you know, boring stuff. Um, I'm going to go over here. There's one I really like. Is it this one? Ah, yes, I like this one. And then I'm going to go down to font color. And I'm probably going to just grab a darker, you know, gray black. You can add an outline, a glow, a shadow. That's a lot of fun. And then you can pick the effect color. But I'm just going to leave it like this. Now notice how it's now outside of view. So that means when I click add, it's going to be outside of view over here as well. So I'm going to go down. until it's all proportionate, and then click Add. And I'm going to grab these little squares, and I'm going to get it exactly how I want. Yeah, see, that's another thing. It doesn't let me move things around like I want. See, I like freedom. 
I don't want to be restricted. Okay, and then the next thing is next. And then you can add animated, animated GIFs. I usually uh, don't. And then save, continue. And then what it does is it creates it and it sends an email for you um, when it's ready. But I couldn't add my jiffies. You know, like I just, there's, I don't have the freedom that I want in order to add jiffies and add, you know, different things and stuff like that. So that's why I always suggest Camtasia. Um, but you may have, you know, very simple needs and you don't need what Camtasia has. But I can guarantee you that people read videos. They, they don't listen to them unless you can really capture their attention. And um, so let me show you a finished product that I can actually be proud of. Here's one. So anyway, um, me leaving a social event is really funny too. I'm just, you know, Sherry Ann Wilson at Instagram if you guys want to follow me. Watch my funny videos. But anyway, so that's it. So you can make some really good ones, but again, you are limited. And I should already have my email. So let me show you that really quick. Let's see if it'll come through. No, not yet thought it would be here but it's not so anyway you would have your email here and there would be a download link over there okay and so you can pick different headers you can have them at the bottom the top or both so any questions on this okay so a final thing I'm gonna head over to Facebook and I'm gonna show you a couple um, videos where you don't need to do anything except shoot it and this is really good if, again, you're an establishment that serves food or if you're just showing some behind the scenes and there's no one talking. Um, so one thing that I will do is I will go over to K-Bob's and just grab some, like, uh, they have to be at least four seconds. Uh, people like 60 seconds and under, but if you've got really good content, guys, they'll watch 20 minutes. You know, it just needs to be uh, something that catches their attention. So... Uh, let's see, there was one that I did. Oh, I bet it's already posted. Here it is. So I shot this one, and all I did, that was it. And, um, you know, just grabbing the food that they're serving, getting that background noise. Um, people love stuff like that. So uh, four seconds at least, grab that. And, um, and just highlight what you're doing. Uh, it was something to the effect of um, uh, come in for some uh, made-from-scratch food, you know. And then when you've got your captions, which we'll get into, I'll teach you guys how to write good captions. Um, let's see. Well, it's not showing me what I wrote for the caption. But anyway. Huh? Well, I thought that was the title. And then I had... A caption but now I'm thinking maybe I didn't but anyway so those are how you can do videos all right so what I showed you like a lot of people would never know how to do that back in the day but now there's just so many options for you guys to do this stuff on your own you don't have to pay people hundreds or thousands of dollars to do this stuff um, the video that we were playing with with video wrapper I was literally at American Heritage yesterday and um, uh, c and Produce, I think, is the name of the business. They brought in these watermelons this huge. 
Okay, so this is how you got to think creatively. So I'm up there, and um, Colby's like, hey, some clients of ours are bringing us some watermelons. You want to capture some pictures? Heck yes, I want to capture some pictures. And so I got the video, and I just literally watched, you know, videotaped us. I'm old, old school. It's not videotape. What is it? <laughs> um, captured us <laughs> walking to the back. Uh, not necessarily live, because these are videos. If you are nervous about doing Facebook Live, start here. Create your videos. I've done entire teaching videos that I've then put on Facebook. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that too, where it looks like it's streamed, but they would it's not. You've already created it. But anyway, I, I, I captured them. I got a quick picture of them holding up these huge watermelons. Why would you put that on the page? Because that's a customer that's so kind that they literally brought watermelons, it filled up a table full for them just because they like doing business with them. And it shows the brand, it shows the community and that that's how close we are. So I had to capture that. So anything that captures uh, your brand, what you stand for, your values, uh, how you're helping the community, how your clients are blessing you, all of that stuff, the behind the scenes, we're very voyeuristic we like to see what's going on behind the scenes, and that's what you can grab. So think outside of the box and um, uh, capture those moments. Even the bloopers. Oh, my gosh. I get so many um, blooper comments. And so next time when we get together, we'll go into copy, and then I'll also teach you uh, Camtasia. Okay? So we'll be done early if you want because I can't really get started on anything else. Can you help us create our own reality Show that would be fun. We could totally theme it as a reality show. Yes. <laughs> you would need uh, Renee, right? That's your name. Follow you around and just capture stuff all the time. <laughs> and that, because of the sensitive nature, you know, of like Matt 25 or United Way, some of you that are in businesses where there's sensitive material, you do want to take that into consideration. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, what we're going to do with Matt 25 is if there's, you know, anyone that maybe a volunteer or anyone that's going there for help, getting permission first because you definitely want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, you, but other than that, you don't need to, okay? Um, if you're capturing content for your business, you do not have to get permission. Now, I'm working with um, one of my clients to do a photo contest uh, to celebrate their new website, and, you know, in the rules, once you submit your photo, it's ours, you know? So that's, that's something that we want, you know, or your staff. Um, I always have my clients go around asking them if they want their picture taken or their likeness on Facebook or any marketing materials. And most don't mind, but you get some that do. But then when they see how much fun the others are having and how everybody's liking their posts and you know all that, then usually they'll come around. So just have those considerations when you're capturing moments, okay? And ask your staff and things like that. <laughs> that we'll just post on a crime thing. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, yes. Okay. I never. So, my dad in the day used to take Happy Meals special deliveries to the school to my kids. Yeah. So today, my grandson asked my husband, "Would you please bring lunch and eat the food that we?" Kids. But anyway, so mom's there. He took the picture. So I put the picture on this bright orange thing that had school things on it. Yes. There it goes. That's the legacy that's on. Yep. Uh, yep. Good job. Are you going to post it on Facebook? Yes. Okay. And then do you know how to download it in your phone? Because it's a little bit different. I think there's like an arrow. Okay. Yeah. So you'll need to download it on your phone and then you can share it. Good job. Good job. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> That's awesome. Anybody else? Any questions? Or So, Alyssa, how much time do you think it takes you to do two? Does it take me? Because you're learning. So, two videos a month is all that she does right now. All by myself. By an hour and a half. Forever, yeah. It took me a while because I can't read my own notes. Oh, 
Okay. I do mine in 15 minutes or under is how long it takes me. So um, just I want to tell you that because there might be a learning curve at first, but it literally takes me about 15 minutes. And that includes closed, ca closed captioning. Okay. How did you learn that from these lunch No, no, I've actually got together with Sherry and she showed me how to do it. She's mm -hmm. very patient. <laughs> yeah, we. Because for the average human, it would probably be a lot easier than it is for me. I'm, I'm very hard time learning. Yeah, and uh, yeah, well, yeah, they are really good. And um, just walking her through the process is what actually helped me figure out what everybody needs to get the video and the pictures and all that stuff up for these classes. Because we just literally went through it, and I'm like, well, we could do that for everybody. So, yeah, she was my guinea pig. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna be so embarrassed, Ernie. Ernie. Okay. You want the introduction one? Because I think yeah. that's a really good one. <laughs> You'll. And she's an introvert, guys. And the fact that she um, does this is awesome. Okay, so let's see where that video is. And she's also a good example of how she'll capture her staff and uh, clients and things like that. Um, like this right here, she captured in this. And that. Closings, if you're a real, in real estate. Wow, we're just going through your whole thing. Is it making you even more uncomfortable? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't the right one. So then does it not save in your videos? Probably, and I'm being ridiculous, okay. and she just goes straight to it. I really didn't know if everything saves. No, there. you're right. <laughs> okay. Especially with Sherry. Well, why well, it's not playing. Oh. I don't know what's going on. So all the jiffies, her style, we grabbed her a sound. That sound at the end is hers. She purchased it. So it'll be in all of her videos. When you hear that sound, you'll think of her. Um, the last few sentences was her branding and what she does for her clients. So there's a lot of thought that goes into the branding aspect of it. But she picked it up and just took off with it. And we got all her jiffies from jiffy.com. Yeah. Very good. Did you write all right. it or did Sherry help you write it? 
Had a lot of so she's, <laughs> yeah, she's wordy, yeah. and because uh, her personality is an S personality, and a lot of S personalities are very wordy. So I'm like, that's redundant. We don't need that. Let's rephrase that. We have all these like when blah blah commas, and then that. Let's get rid of those. And so yeah, we just really kind of chopped it up. And then it's like, well, you gotta figure it out now. You're not gonna have me forever. So she'll send me the script, and I'll be like, hey, this is redundant. Kind of fix that. Maybe make a couple suggestions. Mm hmm. Yeah. But writing the script is easy because remember last month I taught you that big view teleprompter. That's what she uses. That's what I use on some of my videos. Um, it's an app on your phone and it's B I G V U. Big uh, big view. It's free. And um, it you can type your script in that and then it's a teleprompter right on your phone and you just read the text. And so I use that for all of the chamber promo videos. Uh, a lot of my training, unless it's Facebook Live, I love it. Big View is a good one. And you want to shoot it, guys, landscape. And then you want to have plenty of room where people can see your hands uh, because people feel safe when they can see your hands, if at all possible. But also it puts the logo down in the bottom corner. So if you have it out a little bit and then where you can see your hands, you're safe so that when you crop it to be that square, um, you can... Uh, crop out the logo okay so um, or you can purchase the the program and not have that logo so I guess you legally crop out the logo <laughs> now that I think about it I didn't even think about it until I'm like yeah just just crop it out you know instead of pay for it but anyway I would encourage all of you to pay for it <laughs> We're not recording. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so All right.